Hey guys, so um, I couldn't decide what I wanted to film this video on. Um, and excuse my lighting, if it goes like in and out, it's like no sun here in Georgia, so it's like a little bit, it's like kind of bright, but it's getting kind of late, it's like three, so you know, it gets like um, what does it get like? It, it gets like darker. Do I can lipstick? Okay, it gets like kind of dark. Hold on. I think that's just my thing. Okay. So it gets darker in the um quicker. So just excuse the lighting. Okay, so I want to come to you all today to talk about what am I talking about? Um my uh, nipple rings. Okay. So we're gonna talk about nipple piercings today. Um I know I'm not going to, like, show you guys the nipple rings or anything like that because it's kind of weird. But, so, I'm going to tell you about my experience and what I experienced with having nipple rings. So, I got mine probably about, like, two years ago. Almost three years. It'll be, like, three years in, like, June or May or June. And I got them in Detroit back home on Seven Mile at this place. I can't think of the name of it. But it was, like, $25 for each one. And it was painful as fuck. Like, it's like one of the worst piercings I ever had. It would like hurt it like really bad. People, I have, I run into people that are like, oh, it wasn't that bad. And you know, you know, it's always those people and shit. It wasn't that bad. But it's actually your fucking nipple. And they like take a needle. And he took the needle. It was like just a, just a needle. It had nothing on the end. Just a needle. And he took my nipple and he like, did it so slow, like, mm. oh, that shit hurt it so bad. It hurt it so bad. I don't know if I'll ever do that shit again. Like, if this came out, if these came out, or, like, something happened, I don't know what I would do. Like, I'm not going to say I would never go through it again, but it was, like, painful as hell. But since the pain was going to be over, it was, like, something that was bearable, kind of, but it hurt it, like, it really hurt it. I can't even describe how bad it hurt it, but it hurt it to me. Uh, my experience, it hurt it like hell. And then you had to go through so, 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 slow, so, so. Oh, God. Okay. So, I got them done. And after the fact, it like, he had me stand up. He took the needle, he put it through. And it hurt it. And, you know, he did each one. He put, like, the little circle bells in with the little circle barbells in. Well, I don't know if those are called barbells, but the little circle. And I think those look kind of manly. No shade to anybody else. If you like them, that's you. But I don't like them. So I was like, uh, I don't really like them. But I, so I ended up changing them. It hurt it when I left there. Like my breast like really hurt it. Like, oh, this shit hurts. This shit hurts. But then after that, it was fine. Like the next day I was good. So how I cleaned them was, he actually just said to get some, I can't even really fucking, I can't even really remember. I think I got like some H2 Ocean and I cleaned them. But now I clean them like how I clean my septum. So I just put like salt, I put like the salt um in there. The sea salt that I get from like Kroger or something like that. Sea salt. And I put water in there and then I hold it on my nipple um with, in a shot glass. Just to hold it on there because they're, they heal like okay. They take a long time to heal, which I don't even know, like, the real time frame for healing. But my friend, she has hers pierced. And one of hers still has, like, a bump on there. And she's had it for, like, two years as well. So one of them just still acts up. So I still have to, like, clean it every day. But I don't clean it as much as I should. I should clean it, like, two times a day. So I'm going to start doing that and see if that makes it better. But that bump will not go away. I even consider, like, taking one of them out. But I don't want to have, like, one nipple ring pierce that's very weird so it's not weird but i want to have both of mine so i'm like okay i'm going to work with it and see what happens um and when it comes to changing them since they were my nipples i was kind of like um i don't know what kind of barbells to get because i normally buy just any kind and i didn't know the size like how i know with my septum i didn't know what size it was um for my nipples so i went to another piercer and they like, used a little thing to measure or something. And then he gave me the right kind. Because I didn't want to put like small ones in there. Or too big that would like hurt my nipples or anything like that. So 
I ended up just getting the kind of the piercer gave me. And I haven't changed them since then. I think I want to change them to like a gold color. They're like silver right now. But I don't know. So, so we'll see about that. But my nipple piercing experience wasn't that bad. The next time I go get a piercing, I'm going to try to like vlog it or something so you all can see. Because I think I want to go get something else pierced, but I don't know what. Um, but I'll try to like vlog and so you can see the, the actual experience. Because I don't really have anything like scary. It just hurt it when I got it. But it wasn't that bad. It was... Okay, I wanted to enter in like a, a few facts about the nipple rings. So, like, when it comes to sensation, um, some people ask, like, does it make it better, like, sexually? But for me, it doesn't. It's just, like, regular. It's not nothing like, oh, my God, it feels amazing. But I guess everyone is different. So, for you, it may be different. You may, it may make a big difference um, sexually. And, well, like, when it comes to breastfeeding, if you have, like, kids, they said you can breastfeed with them. But I don't know how true that is. Um, the things I've looked up, it says that you that you can. I probably wouldn't feel comfortable when I do have kids, but that's your choice. And um, it's like eight to twelve months to heal. It depends on the person as well, though. So the less irritation you have, the less things you have rubbing up against your breast, then um, it'll be it'll take less time. But you know, for me, it took a little while. It's taken a little while, so. Is just keep that in mind. And when I cleaned my pier when I cleaned my piercing when I first got it, because I forgot in the video, it actually I actually used like Dow antibacterial soap and water and I just cleaned it. So I move it and I clean it around, clean it, and that's it. So they also don't suggest that you go swimming for like a whole month when you first get them. Um, because it could like infect them or something like that. So wait a month after you get them, wait a month before you go swimming or anything like that. But it, I guess it's at your, it's at your piercer's discretion. So you can just ask if you do want to go swimming, but, or if you do go swimming, make sure you clean them really, really good after the fact because they can get infected. I suggest that if you are thinking about getting this piercing or anything like that, I always go on, I always watch YouTube videos before I get my piercings. But then there's also a site that you can go on called safepiercing.org. And you can like type in. You can like type in the things that you want. Like, so look. I don't know if you can. You can't see that. It'll give you like, tell you what to do. Like wash your hands before you touch your piercing. Um, whatever it may be. So safepiercing.org. You can look up nipple piercings. It'll tell you exactly what you need to do, what the precautions are, and everything like that. So make sure you research piercings before you actually get them and make sure that there's something that you really, really, really want. Um, and that's it. So if you all have any questions or you want to know anything else about any other piercings, if you have any questions or anything else, just comment below. 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 And subscribe to my channel to my channel and thank you so much for watching my video i appreciate everything i appreciate you all subscribing i appreciate you and watching thank you